All right, we are looking and figuring out which one goes with which. This one you should definitely be recognizing as a parabola, which is this guy here. So that is our h of x. That's this one. And um, it's a normal one, so the a value is just going to be 1. Everything's all day beyond that. This just goes um, squared here. Um, my h value is over 5, positive. So it would end up being x minus 5 squared plus 3, because it is up 3. But the h value is 5. Remember, that's a negative there, and the k value is 3. Uh, the square root guy looks like this. Nice little square root looking guy. Um, it is normal <coughs> facing up. <coughs> I've got a 1 comma 1. So it is uh, normal with, with a value of 1. So remember opposite of the x value and it is what a k value is. So this is 1 and 1. <coughs> this one, this one I don't know if you noticed it. I actually didn't have to redo this video because I didn't even notice it. This one is going the opposite direction. It's just starting in the negatives over here and then ending in the positive. I'm sorry, starting the positives over here. Normally they look like that. So this is backwards, which means I actually want a negative one there. Uh, my locator is still at one comma one, so I still have a one and a one because when I write it, I get that as my answer. Now, which graph is a function or not a function? Uh, that's used the vertical line test. So this one, no problem. It only passes through each vertical line, only passes through once. So that one is, oh wait, I forgot to put these where they go. The cubic was the g of x, and the square root was the f of x. So the, I just talked about the square root one, so that one is a function. And then the square root, Totally, everything is fine. Vertical line test is passing. It's only going through one each time. And for this one here, it's totally working. Again, it only passes through one time. So each of these are functions. Now, the next question is going to ask, uh, which is it that the inverse um, is a function? So let's look at those real quick. We can use our horizontal line test here. The horizontal line test doesn't work. How, why am I saying that? If I graph this, it's going to look like that. So the vertical line test won't work. But if I kind of put it back here, if I use the horizontal line test instead, that will let me know what will happen when I flip it. So this one is not the inverse. This one, uh, if I use the horizontal line test, that actually does work. Yes. And this one, if I use the horizontal line test, it actually does work. So that one is a yes. All right, uh, you have another video waiting for you for the backside.